I am going to be introducing the baby otters to the rescued guinea pigs. Oh yeah, you wanna say hello, you wanna lick it? Oh yeah, that's some very tasty mic. Hi pretty girl. This is where we're going to introduce them. Now is the moment of truth, guys. We are going to lift it up, see what happens. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope all of you guys are having an absolutely amazing Saturday. Now for today's video, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to be introducing the otters. I'm sure all of you guys have seen the otters. The otters are the stars of the channel, but have all of you guys seen the rescued guinea pigs? Well, maybe some of you have, maybe some of you haven't, but I am going to be introducing the baby otters to the rescued guinea pigs. Yes, you heard that right. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. I think the otters are going to be super curious of them. I'm not too sure if the guinea pigs are going to like it, but I think it's going to be uh, interesting nonetheless to see what happens. But before we do that, I'm going to give all of you guys an update on my Cuban iguanas. I don't think I've shown you guys them for uh, quite a while. And here they are. I got a little maintenance to do in here. So let's go in here. Let's say hello. Hello. This right here is Mr. Rico. He is a big male Cuban iguana. He is looking a little mad right now he's bobbing his head at me saying hello but take a look at him boy what are you gonna do are you gonna bite the camera i don't think so oh okay i'm sorry bro i'm sorry i'm sorry so take a look at mr rico he is a gorgeous cuban rocky going to and adding this mulch i think it's just gonna add a new dynamic i think by adding the mulch it's gonna make this cage look you know about 10 times better take a look at his spikes right there i mean this is one beast of a lizard now rico actually just cut his nail he must have been on the chain link or on this rock if you see those little blood spots right there he cut his nail on the other side so it was bleeding a little bit so i just got a cauterizer which a cauterizer is basically like a little thing you use to stop bleeding and i cauterized his nail that happens with these guys sometimes he'll be just okay and we cannot forget about mrs lola so if you guys can see that this is lola the female cuban rock iguana and with lola Lola's actually um, a lot smaller. That's how the females are. Female rock iguanas are always a bit smaller. She's real curious. Come here. Oh, yeah? You want to say hello? You want to lick it? Oh, yeah. That's some very tasty mic. Hi, pretty girl. So you can see she just looks a lot different. You see she doesn't have as many spikes right there compared to the big male. And he's literally about double her size. I could throw her on my shoulder, no problem. Him? I'm not entirely sure what I could do with him, especially when he's a little bit angry. He's a cranky iguana. But anyways, this is what we're going to do. If you look... The floor of this cage doesn't get a ton of sunlight. The shelves get sunlight all day. So the floor has become a little bit mushy and you can see pretty much all the grass has died. So what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna be adding some mulch. So let's start with this side. I think one or two bags is gonna be enough. I might need a third, but basically I'm literally just gonna pour this whole bag here. Woo! Take a look at this, guys. Wow, this cage came out absolutely amazing. Look at all the mulch. I mean, it just adds an entire new look. I mean, look at this. Get from this angle. Let's go from the outside. I mean, guys, I am super proud of this. This uh, oh, this is awesome. Take a look, guys. Oh, it's kind of hard to see from the outside. But yeah, it came out absolutely amazing. Let's say goodbye to Mr. Rico and Lola. Goodbye, Rico. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, Lola. Goodbye, goodbye. And now that all of you guys have seen an update on the Cuban iguanas, it's time to bring the otters out because these guys are just ready for playtime or maybe they're asleep oh oh i see an otter head oh my gosh guys guys comment down below what is under here it might be an otter i'm not entirely sure oh what was that oh my goodness what is it oh hello hi kids hi hi oh my gosh hello that's casper right there and mrs coral hi kids hi guys follow me let's go Oh my gosh, I love otter playtime, guys. This is probably my favorite time of the day, otter playtime. And guys, I want all of you to go right now and comment down below what you think Coral and Casper are going to do when we introduce them to the rescued guinea pigs. I wanna see what's gonna happen. I really don't know. Oh my goodness, hi. Oh yes. Come here, can I give some rubs? Oh yes. Oh my goodness. Coral loves to chew her hands. Oh my gosh. Casper boy, hello Caspi. Look, Caspi is so cute. Look at him. He's just laying on his back, getting some rubs. Oh, hi. Can I see your teeth? Guys, look at those otter teeth. Those are little otter teeth right there. Oh, such a good Caspi. Such a good boy. Where do you want to go, Casper? You want to go play? Okay. All right. Here, play around in the yard. Play around. Oh, Miss Coral, you cannot eat my shoe. You are crazy, Coral. Let's go here. Stop. So now that these little guys have had a little... Oh. 
And now that the little otters right over there have had some playtime, guys, I'm going to go put them away and head over to PetSmart where I'm going to be buying some toys. I want to get some toys for the otters and I want to get some toys for the guinea pigs, guys. So I'm going to go put the otters away and head to PetSmart. So, funny thing. I'm sure all of you guys are like, aren't you going to PetSmart? Well, I got to PetSmart, turned my camera on, and the battery went <laughs> totally dead. But I got what we needed. I've actually got it right here. Take a look at this, guys. We got all kinds of goodies. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. So, I got some stuff for the otters. I got this Kong toy right here. Wait, focus. So I got this Kong toy right here for the otters. It's kind of small. It's going to be nice for them to, you know, chew on. It's nice rubber. It's going to be good for them teething. See, it says fun to chew, chase, and fetch. We got that. And then we got this right here, this kind of a toy that they can kind of tug on. I don't know if they'll use the squeaky part, but they can kind of play around with this. Something new for them. I got this rope toy right here. Um, I think I got a similar one for the puppies. So I think they'll have some fun with the rope toy, chewing on it. Just different textures. Going from this rubber right here to the rope, it's a different texture for them. So it's going to be real neat. And I also got this for them. So these are more rubber chewy ring thingamabobbers. And uh, yep, they're in there right now. Hey guys, we're about to go outside with meet the guinea pigs and play with some toys. And you can't forget about the guinea pigs. They didn't really have any guinea pig, you know, toys. But I got this. These are little slims right here that are made with alfalfa. And there's, look at this, guys. Super healthy for the guinea pig. Look at that. Vitamin A plus alfalfa. And big thing right there, no sugar, guys. Great stuff. You know, you don't want to give your guinea pig too much sugar, too much sweet stuff. It's just not good for them at all. You don't want to do that. But, wow, I think these... But, wow... But I really think that these otters and the guinea pigs are going to get along just so, so well. So guess what, guys? I'm going to grab the otters right now, and I will see all of you guys outside where we're going to introduce them. All right, guys, this is the pen right here. This is where we're going to introduce them. So on one side, I'm going to be putting the guinea pigs, and on the other side, I'm going to be putting the otters. So I decided to only take out a couple toys and these alfalfa slims for the guinea pigs. So I'm thinking the otters are going to go here, so we're going to drop the two toys right here, like the chewy toys, and then these right here are just going to stay on the outside so once we get the guinea pigs in we can give them our treats but hello mr galapagos you enjoying your hay and lettuce yes very good delicious very very good all right guys so now that this area is set up i'm going to go grab the guinea pigs first i'm going to introduce the guinea pigs in there first and then i'm going to grab the otters so right here we have ginger the first guinea pig that's going to be added in right here take a look at ginger ginger's an adorable little guinea pig hello ginger hello 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 guys if you haven't seen the guinea pig rescue videos guys go check them out but this is basically it i'm gonna have them here i'm gonna put the guinea pigs on this side the otters there and then i'm just gonna lift it up and see what happens guys i think that they're going to get along just fine and this right here is brownie say hello brownie look at his cute little face guys he is a gorgeous little guinea pig here 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 you want down you want down there you go there you go brownie there you go ginger hello 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 now before we go and grab the otters i want to give them this little snack right here so we're just going to uh uh, open that up right there and I want to see if they want some here buddy here you want one? Oh, oh brownie you want it oh yeah that's a oh yeah oh yeah whoa 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 brownie's like yep yeah, I don't mind if I do I don't mind if I do oh ginger's like oh maybe I'll have maybe I'll have one oh yeah 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 look at that it's tasty right looking to take bites once one took a bite now the other one's going for it here have another bite it's so delicious oh yeah Mmm, that's some yummy stuff. Very good, very good, very good. So I've got the otters right in here. Now this is just their transport crate. I just do that so I don't have to individually go back and forth on the inside. But we're just going to put them right here and we're going to open them up and put them in. I mean, I am just super excited for this. I think it's going to be just absolutely amazing. Hello, Coral. Hello, Caspi. Hello, hello. Hello, Coral. Here you go, Coral. Coral is the first one inside of the playpen. And now we're going to put Mr. Casper. Hello, Caspi. Here you go, Casper. There you go, buddy. There you go. And guys, it's time for the moment of truth. So both of our guinea pigs are here, and we have our two otters there. Guys, I am not entirely sure what exactly is going to happen, guys. So go right now. Stop what you're doing. Comment down below what you think is going to happen. Are they going to be best friends? Are they not going to like each other? Comment down below. But now is the moment of truth truth guys we are going to lift it up see what happens guys take a look at this 
Coral and Casper are playing with the guinea pigs and Brownie actually is starting to like them. Brownie's kind of approached the otters and the otters are just saying hello and it seems like they're not too afraid of each other. Just seems like they're kind of keeping their distance. Look at this guys, they're having a great time. They're just getting along so well. But the otters honestly want to come to me instead. Hi guys, you gotta, why don't you want to play with your guinea pig friends guys? Come over here, come this way, come meet Brownie. Brownie wants to say hi. Look, say hi to Brownie. Say hello. Go to Ginger too. Look at you guys. Otter babies, otter babies, over here, over here, over here, come here. Hi guys, look at this, they're getting along. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it. Now, guys, it was uh, pretty cool to see the otters and the guinea pigs interact. You know, at first it was really standoffish, and then they started going up to each other. They were sniffing, they were investigating, they're like, what are you? I've never seen you before. Guys, it was super, super cool to see. So, guys, please go give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Comment down below what you thought of the guinea pigs and the otters meeting. I thought it was just absolutely amazing, guys. And if it is your guys' first time on the channel and uh, you're not subscribed already, well, guess what? Go down below, it's the first link, go subscribe.